Just like he said, he's heaven sent Third person, omnipotent Great words, no difference I don't rap, I make art Bird need a race car This ain't for the faint heart Above clouds like Gangstar Hey, what's going on, everybody? Slightly Daily Podcast, Episode 2, and uh, I got a friend with me today, Nathan Ruttenberg. Hey. Nathan Ruttenberg, how you been, man? I'm doing pretty good, man. I've been pretty well. So, doing pretty well for myself. You just came from California. How was your travels? Uh, it was all right. Me and Sabrina had to get up at like 1.30 in the morning, left the house at like... Tuesday? Nah, uh, Monday. Monday. Yeah, Monday morning. It was maybe, it was actually more like 2 o'clock. We left the house at like 2.45, headed to the airport, and then, um, yeah, it was a connecting flight. We didn't land down in Houston until like, I don't know, maybe noon, and no, nah, it was probably about 1.30, 2 o'clock, and then next thing you know, we're here in Nashville at like, it was like 4.30 with the time change. Oh, wow. Yeah, Which, so it was a long day so of just, travel. So just Cali, Texas. Tennessee. Tennessee. Yeah. Usually right. we get like a one way flight, but there were none available because it's Thanksgiving. Oh, so. So, you, so you waited too long. Maybe yeah. Too Sabrina uh, didn't request off in time. <laughs> so, how how long have you been in California? It's been what, five months? Uh, yeah. Months? Beginning of July. July, August. September, September October, October, November. Four months. Yeah. So, what would you say? For those who don't know, we're in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. We're near Nashville. So what would you say is the biggest... I don't want to just give you the cliche question, what's the biggest difference, but what's the... What's the yeah, that's a hard, that's a hard question. It's a hard There's question, a lot but different. like, what, do you, what, what is one thing that you notice more in California that you don't notice here? Man. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, well, one, people that don't merge... And the the people in California wait in the merging lane until they have to, until that merging lane ends. <laughs> Even if I stop and give them time to come over, they still so do not. Is different. <laughs> traffic, so tra- traffic is traffic flow is different. Yeah, traffic flow is way different. Uh, one thing I've noticed is that there's not a lot of like in town traffic. It's all on like the highway or interstate. So so everyone's traveling. <clears throat> so everyone travels for work like they're traveling to Nashville. Kind of, but make, picture make, way more people, man, and, and way more have places like, to don't go. They have like sixteen lane interstates. Uh, yeah, or I've is seen that just like LA. No, I've seen it get up to like <laughs> probably like six or eight <laughs> okay. lanes. But dude, yeah, when I drove down to LA uh, to see Colton, uh, I saw it get up there, dude. It was all of a sudden I was like, wow, this is a <laughs> big <laughs> ass road. This is wide. <laughs> Uh, dude, but one thing I have noticed really big that I do, uh, find really interesting and I really like is that how, uh, not only health conscious, but environmentally conscious people are in California. I mean, every house gets a trash can, compost and recycling bin with their three separate, three separate containers containers to put on the street, uh, at their house. You, you know, here it's one trash can if you want for a recycling everything. yeah if for you everything want recycling, you got to do it on your own yeah well go, go you have to pay the ones. you have to pay the city for it and then they'll give you a recycling trash can oh, yeah. but yeah no um well, for as many as many people that are in california i mean they need to do something because there's just yeah. so much i mean more i think it's up to like 34 million do- or 34 million people in, yeah in the state yeah Lord have mercy. versus there's only about like 1.2 in mm-hmm. tennessee so, yeah, it's way different. Way more people. I mean, it is a lot bigger of a place. Yeah, it is. Uh, land space wise. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. Uh, I was, I've been meaning to ask you this. This is. I have a few. Uh, a few questions. I've you got a list for me. You. Yeah. Word. Sort of, kind of. Uh, have you met any like local artists? in california or, or yes or local like creators or anything mm-hmm. like can you put us on um yeah so uh my man dakota uh he's gonna hate me for this if he watches it but uh <laughs> brew brew baker brew barker i'm not sure how to say your last name man but uh yeah dude that's about the only real artist that i've met what does he do uh he's in a band he goes to berkeley uh nice he's a real cool dude he traveled he's traveled a lot uh 
but yeah, man, he makes some pretty good music. You guys should check him out. Um, I'll put his uh, at name in the video dude, somewhere in the article. Why can't I think of his band name? We'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like shit for that too. We'll find it, man. Also, now speaking of local local acts, give me just rattle off some names, some some of your favorite local acts from Murfreesboro slash Nashville. Favorite acts? Any like when I say acts, I mean I mean rappers, singers, clothing brands. Favorite artists basically know, coming know, out of. I know a few of yours, but yeah, I mean so definitely know. Evan Dupree. Yeah, Evan, that, uh, that was gonna be. I've been trying favorites. to actually, you know, spread his name a little bit out there. All my employees, you know, I play music of his around if yeah. I get a chance. Uh, uh, Naeem, shout out, he plays it all the time at work. Um, that's cool. Yeah, he works with me Where at Sweet work at? Uh, Sweet Green, which uh, we, I really salad place, right? Yeah, it's like a high end salad place. Uh, it's pretty cool, man. I wish we had one here. I think it would do pretty well. Uh. Definitely brings a lot of the health health conscious people to um yeah it definitely brings a lot of health conscious people in uh so it's they're like, really is it, is it a vegan place or is it just it's not vegan because I learned they start, that they have meat? yeah they okay. we they do have meat I learned that a vegan place is something somewhere that no meat no there's eggs, no meat I did no actually meal. go check one out uh, I got some I got a fake fried chicken sandwich with bacon and. Uh, all sorts of stuff on there, but none of it, of course, was real meat. Wasn't it was actually hitting, it, it was actually really good though. It wasn't hitting the same. Uh, that's definitely one thing I miss from here is the fried chicken, the food. Yeah. Uh, you know, but uh, no, nah, man, it's really good. Uh, our place is, or but Sweet Green is really also environmentally conscious as well as health conscious. Um, all their food is organic and locally uh, sourced. Oh, nice. So, like, you know, the sweet green in New York is not getting the same product. So they have other, product. it's not just a Cali. Mm -hmm. It's not just a West Coast thing. It's on the yeah. East Coast, too, but, like, more, like, North. Okay. Um. So, Evan, you got Evan Dupree. Who who else, artist-wise, we talking? Dude. Kind of got off track there. I really, yeah, I really we did. Want, I really want to talk, <laughs> because I want to eventually have some of these people on here, but... Evan Dupree, for sure. For sure. For uh, sure. My uh, man is out here doing big things. I don't know if you've heard of him, but he's made some music with Evan Young Soul. Uh, yeah, I've actually seen him Super perform dope. with Evan a couple yeah, times. I, I really like his music. Mm -hmm. Cam Curry. Yeah. I really like him. I, uh, Legend story. of Memphis. Yeah. Hey, he, <laughs> <laughs> that man's wild. <laughs> he, yeah. He goes he, crazy. He actually followed me back on Instagram on the site we daily. I don't know why. He Word. Just, he just did. Support, bro. But, uh... Um, yeah, give me any be more, any be shooting, man. That's somebody that is uh be that, that needs to be. Yeah, he just goes by B. Okay. Uh, I believe Zappé said he was actually gonna do a little sh something with him, but yeah, he dude, he's a really dope artist. Uh, I wouldn't say he makes music as much as just like uh, man, he's not he's, really he's just consistent in making his music, or he's not a music creator, just okay. solely music. He creates oh. everything. This man just creates art. And uh, I really like his content. That's cool. So yeah, shout I, out, shout out, be shooting. I haven't heard of him. He's a cold ass basketball player too, by the way. <laughs> I had never seen a so hippie me, play basketball so some, well. Uh, give me some clothing brands. Out of Tennessee? I mean, I know we got Ain't I Fly. Yeah, Ain't I Fly. Uh, dude, shout out, can't complain, always. Can't complain. That's something you got to live by right there. Just you can't complain, bro, about anything yeah. you do. If you if you chose to do it, then don't. Own up to it and don't complain, bro. Who uh, who who does ain't I fly? Uh, dang it, man! What is her Shut name? Oh, you're gonna have to edit this. Nah, no, no editing. It's <laughs> hey, no, nope, we're humans. Who does can't complain though? What's isn't that a isn't that a girl or no? No, ain't I fly? That's the girl. That's uh, the Rashida. Girl. Rashida. Dang, man. I'm sorry. I can't remember your name. I met her once, but I don't think she knows who I am. Uh, dude, yeah. She's super cool. She's a hustler for sure. Yeah. She's a hustler for sure. You got one of their um, hats, right? The yeah. yellow one? Yeah. I've got yeah. A, a couple different Ain't I Fly stuff. Um, and then the Can't Complain. Yeah. Who, Jay. Jay. Yeah. I haven't met Jay before, but I I mean, I know that it's a some local stuff. And Let's see if I can't find his... Uh, I did, you did a photo shoot for one of them, right? Yeah, I actually did a photo shoot for both of them. For both? Uh, okay. Ain't I Fly was the first like photo shoot I actually ever did. Uh, she actually got me while when I worked with her at Hot Topic. Oh, and that's where you linked up with her. Yeah. That's crazy. I met I, her at I Hot Topic. I worked there for 
about three or four months last year, which I mean, you know this, but yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, we worked. You linked up with her. She there. was uh, receiving, and I worked in quality control. Uh, but yeah, man, she had her own. She was doing uh, a new spring line and needed some uh, people to you know model <laughs> for. Pictures. Yeah, and uh, she liked my dreads, and I was like, yeah, r- dude, run it. And then through her, I met uh, uh, Trip, <laughs> which is the music. Yep, guy, he, right? yep, Lil Trip, or why, <laughs> yeah, Lil Trip, 615, man, shout out, uh, shout out JL, he's a dope dude, uh, that's also how I ended up meeting Rome, uh, fun, fun dude, basketball player, he was actually just in the Bay, he actually got to be on stage with Snoop Dogg, what? yeah, he was dressed up as like an astronaut, and I think the story goes, like, he was dressed up outside the venue, and they were doing something completely different, I might be wrong, uh but yeah and then snoop saw him was like we got black astronauts out here we need to get you guys on stage and next thing you know bro he's out here on stage with snoop so that was pretty cool he was in the bay um but yeah shout out rome shot fresh one time um and then also uh yellow the og dude yellow the og that's how i met him was through that group of people man and there's some cool dudes. They're also some hustlers, and they really put a lot of work into their... Uh, Nashville, right? Mm-hmm. These are all like Nashville, Nashville guys. Antioch. Yeah, Antioch. Uh, yeah, they put a lot of effort into their stuff, man, and I really uh, support and appreciate them That's for cool. what they do. It's. I know I haven't probably haven't talked to you guys in a while, but shout out. Yeah, I mean, I just I bring them up just because I, I know... I mean, we're, we're our own individuals. I like, you know... We all have our. You have your own network. I have my own network. Yeah. But at the same time, we our networks are very close. And despite the fact that I don't know all those artists, I yeah. I know. I'm like, oh, I remember his name because you brought him up before. Yeah, and for sure. That's 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 what it's all about. And this creative world is is just linking up with people and and trying to just combine networks yeah and just you know that's one thing people got to do man is learn to like support and work together that's one thing i've noticed uh let me cut you off yeah yeah cut me off it's as simple as liking someone's instagram post yeah it's literally like you tap that shit twice bro like you you don't even have to have your name on it really you don't even have to repost i mean reposting it does the most yeah that helps the most but still dude like saying it's it's as simple as liking someone's post it's as simple as as saying hey check this out word of mouth it's not hard that stuff travels but man i it makes me sick just seeing all these super talented dope people that get no recognition and that's kind of why i'm doing this so i can show people that hey i see you you're doing stuff like you're putting in some work and you deserve a little recognition I'm not. I don't have a whole lot of clout, but you know, down to help. Like I'm yeah, down to I'm support da- and I'm be down there. To support and be like, hey, you, good job, man. Yeah, right. Like give you it know? your give it a shot. Why not? And the fact that people are out here doing like what they want to do and just trying yeah. to do like something that's not the status quo. Yeah, and is we we all have jobs. Nice to we see. We all have other responsibilities, but you know whether that be you're into like I have a friend from work. He's really into collecting like stuff like this. Mm-hmm. Not like it's really weird. He's into collecting like vintage stuff. Like 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 uh, vintage toys and shit. Yes, but not even <clears> just <throat> toys. Like he he's really into like just collecting older things and like that's just what he values. And in yeah. a way that's that's like a creative thing. If mm-hmm. that makes sense. Yeah, even no, it like, does. Because like anything that's his creative outlet. Anything that's been here his for a certain amount of time has a story. Yeah. Like even if it's just a dollar bill. Yeah it's it's been places mm-hmm. it's had previous owners and that is a story it's something you can look up and look at yeah. and check out and, yeah and he's expressing himself for sure that way. Yeah. even though he might have a room just like this that all that stuff is in there and like you know people might not ever really come in there yeah but he's a, he he's it's still a story to tell and like he was telling me the story about this bookshelf he got it was this like it, all right, so it sounds very simple. It's a Star Wars bookshelf, okay? But it was, like, <laughs> from the 80s, all right? Word. And so, yeah, like, a little original release, like... <laughs> like, like, Star Wars, Luke Skywalker on... There was it, only everything. three movies. Right. And 
he found it at Goodwill, and like the fact that, that that's a fine, right? And yeah, he was like, dude, I found this at Goodwill. And yeah, he, he didn't like, go hunting for that; yeah. like he stumbled upon it, right? And he was like telling me the story about it and stuff, and like even though that's just about this guy, at the end of the day, you take a step back, you're like, oh, this is just a guy buying a bookshelf telling a story like this. That would be a that would be super great content. Mm -hmm. you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah 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 like it doesn't always have about to be a bookshelf you yeah know? it doesn't always have to be clothes or rap music yeah. or anything like that dude it can be literally everything you can talk about anything on here and I think people are still a little confused on what a podcast might be and i don't want to call this sit these sit downs an interview yeah no nah, it's just sense. like a like a podcast like i was explaining a chat to, yeah, just a talk. I was trying to tell Connor that uh, a podcast is like a video radio show. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. You know? And I mean, it doesn't even have to be video, bro. Like this can no, it doesn't. just be an audio file. It doesn't. Like, honestly. But. The video is nice. Yeah. Because you can see who the people video, are behind the mic. It That and it also, it captures a lot of the uh, nonverbal connections. Yeah. Like yeah. hand, hand <laughs> gestures. Fidget in with your shoes and yeah, shit. Yeah, or like. that. Like, you know. <laughs> But uh, all right, let's get into let's get into some topics, man. Have you played the new Call of Duty? Uh, I played the beta. You played the beta, so you ain't played the new. Call no, of Duty. I haven't played the new Call of Duty yet. Uh, I played the beta with Colton. Okay. Uh, we checked out the cross platform. Dude, that was really it. sick. The fact that you have cross platform even on the beta. Yeah. Um, now the game chat is meh whenever you're playing well dude i kind of like it because i feel like it's it's meant to be that way it's meant to be like you're in an actual calm like i feel that but i don't know what it is the game chat when you're playing playing cross platform is kind of shaky mm. like i play i was playing with parker and I, it might have just been how they made it to sound a little fuzzy or whatever like yeah yeah, combat. yeah 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 i don't know i feel I, I don't know i could hear connor fine whenever because we both have xbox but then but when you play with somebody on like ps4 yeah i don't know it might just be me but uh, have you been playing any video games lately? You've been playing Fortnite any? You gave Man, it up. You played uh, Chapter Two. I haven't given given it up. I've just been really busy. I've I've kind of like set it to the side. But yeah, I did check out Chapter Two. Uh, I really like it. I really like the quality of the game. Honestly, um, it's it's fine. Yeah, it, it's a game that you can just kind of pick up and play whenever. Exactly. I, I do to... really enjoy the new map, man. Yeah. Like it's there's tons of new yeah. new features and stuff in there. <laughs> Um, I really, like I said, I really like the quality of it, the way that it looks. Yeah. Um, I honestly feel like it's a whole new game in a sense. It's just impeccable and crazy to me that still in beta, <laughs> right? Well, that, that, yeah, but that also, it's not an actual game. How, how huge it got in mm -hmm. such a small period of time. A big fat like, impact, man. Like the, the battle Royale mode has only been out two years. Mm hmm. And, and it's and, consumed most of like first person shooters and just yeah. like shooting games in general. Yeah, and and we got people like Ninja, Nick Burks, and and yeah, that TSM brought it up too. Myth. Like it, like they are superstars now. Yeah, and it I mean like Ninja was always making like money from games. Yeah, he was, but the it, it like brought it to the surface and brought it to attention that people do really make good money playing <laughs> fucking video fucking games. Video <laughs> games, man. They make career. They make. They're making. Ninja's making quarterback money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For real. Yeah. Quarterback He's money out for here sure. making Drew Brees, Tom Brady money. <laughs> Seriously. Yes, to play games, man. To play, and to do what he loves. Yeah. And that, I mean, people. That's beautiful. Some man. people think that's like childish or whatever, but it's really not, first it's, off. And it's, it's an art. And it's hard. It's not just easy. It's oh, yeah. not like somebody can just pick it up and yeah. do it. And do what he's doing. No. Nah, I tried to play on a PC the other day. Oh, I've never done that. Got actually. shit on all day long. <laughs> Can barely even move. I've, I've actually never did that on the PS4. Yeah, uh, Colton's PC. got... Colton, it wasn't PC, actually. It was uh, PlayStation 4 with keyboard and mouse. Oh. Yeah. But, but still, still. Yeah. Uh, I tried it, dude, um, and that's ridiculously hard. What was I gonna, oh, uh, Ninja and some duo he had. Uh, what was his name? Reverse 2K. Hmm. He... They set the record for most duo wins in a row, and it was like fifty wins. The world record, in a row, in a row, boy. <laughs> like that's difficult. Yeah, that's not easy. That's, that's not skill. something that anybody can just pick up and do. It's and, not something and simple. Kids really like kids gravitate. Kids watch YouTube and Twitch all the time, man. Yeah, there's people making bank actually like 
kids that are making more than you know my mom for <laughs> opening up toys. Yes. Like what? Uh, uh, so what do you? Switching gears, we're gonna go into the music a bit. Okay. Uh, let's see which one I want to go with first. I don't actually make music. I no, don't he actually, doesn't. He doesn't make music. <laughs> I right? actually we're don't do. We're gonna talk about music. Uh, this is this might be a little a sore subject. We're talking about music here. Okay. Something that came out this year. What did you think about Chance's new album? Man, uh, somebody said it's very Chicago, and I felt that. Yeah, but, it made but, it but made sense as a Chance the Rapper fan. Like mm. we've been, cha- I've yeah, been dude, chance- I was diehard Chance the Rapper fan, yeah. like 2013 and up. Like I saw that man in concert in Nashville at the Cannery Ballroom. What year? With what 20 year? November, the two days before Thanksgiving, the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, 2013. 2013. So yeah. I mean, this man had like 150, 200 people at the show. It was great. <laughs> Uh, and he was still doing, you know, his social experiment tour. Uh, yeah. And I mean, he's definitely made a lot of changes since then. And I mean, that's really, I really think he's a dope artist, man. Like, I, I, do I don't, it's not like I don't support him anymore. I Have still you, download all of his music. Did you see the Rhythm and Flow show on Netflix? I haven't watched it yet. Dude, please watch that. Is man. it good? Is it worth it, a watch? It's, it's like American Idol for rappers. Okay. Okay, that's fine. But, but Chance the Rapper, T.I., and Cardi B are the judges. That's fine. So, yeah, that's yeah, fine. That's fine. Like, <laughs> But here's my two cents about Chance's album, man. I thought it was fine. So let me, let me give you... Let me give you fine a, is a good word. Let me give you a, reviews, a quick review of his whole discography. 10 Day, good. Acid Rap, fantastic. Coloring book. Coloring book good yeah what uh the big day fine the, yeah the big day was back not to fine bad, yeah but fine i think i think 10 day was better i like 10 day more because i do too it was like it hits home more yeah it hits home more and it doesn't have the bangers that acid rap has. acid rap is is one bangers of, bangers 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 cry a little bit literally the bangers, whole bangers, album, bangers. we know all the words to the whole album yeah yeah, you put any song on, I'm gonna know every single word. Whatever. Like, honestly, I love that he added that to Apple Music too. Yeah. I was super hyped that was about a cool that. Addition, but I, um, I just wanted to ask you about the Big Day because I, I, I liked it. I, I downloaded it. it all the way. Yeah, I have it on my phone, but I, it's not my favorite album of this year. It's not. It's not my favorite Chance the Rapper album. No, it's not. But at the same time, he's doing. He's trying to promote something new. Mm-hmm. He's trying to promote something different. It's more of a, he's got this more clean image. Yes, very why, clean image. He's not he, talking about being fucked up on Zans anymore. That's why he can do what some Net- people don't even realize. You're right, and that's why he can do the Netflix thing. True. Do you know True. what I'm saying? Yeah, he's doing. He's promoting positive and, and clean and, energy. And, and now, and now he's he's like, oh, I can do this TV stuff now. Yeah, yeah. And that's cool, but I didn't think it was his best work. I don't think it's the best work of this year. But, uh, honestly, I really like those three singles that he dropped better. Sixty uh, Fifth and Eagle Side. Oh, oh, that yeah. What you're groceries about? was actually I fucked I with groceries. groceries. I'm not a big fan of uh, and then, uh what, workout and yeah. And, I'm talking about workout. Uh, Sixty Fifth and Eagle Side uh, and and called. uh, yeah. What is that shit called? Fuck you. You know that's Jamie Fox. Yeah. That he sampled. Yeah. Okay. With my fries, or <laughs> I ain't no activist. I'm the pro- protagonist. <laughs> I co captain it. I fly solo like one cup in the cabinet. Hey, what, what do you say? There ain't too many me's. Rest in peace, peace to Vern, Vern Troyer. God. <laughs> Disgusting. Yeah, I'm still in my bag like the fries at the bottom. Boy, oh, I, if I think about that every single time like, I get food uh, to go through a like, drive thru and wow. there's fries in the bottom. Forever and always, that's what I think about is that song. But yeah, I mean. I see what he's doing. It was fine. What it would was you fine. give it out of 10? <sighs> For my taste. Yeah, your taste. For my your, taste, your, dude, your, it's like a 6, 7. I'd I, listen to it. I'll give it a 5. I wouldn't complain That's, if it came on. I was going to say 5. Okay, yeah. Because, uh 7's kind of pushing it, to be honest. he's got a... He's got a daughter. Actually... He's got, yeah, he's got I don't a family. Know if he knew this, but he has a son. Well, no, he doesn't have a son. Never mind. That was he posted on his Instagram the other day. Another baby. But I mean, was, he's always said something about like I'm his, a I'm like a dad nephew. away from rapping. You know, stuff like that. He's but always he's, talked about. He's got a daughter. You know, 
He probably wants to make some music that his daughter can sing. That's dude, fine, dude. If you for some reason see this, I highly doubt it. But if for some reason somewhere somebody blows this up and Chance the Rapper, you see this, know that you're fantastic, bro. Oh, yeah, dude. We're definitely not hating on you. Definitely all. not at all. You you I got still, me through a lot of look, things, man. I and still have the big day downloaded. Yeah, yeah. I'm not <laughs> deleting it. Not the, it's not going anywhere. But and it, dude, but it's fucking shout favorite, out for everything. It's not my favorite Chance the Rapper album. I've seen you twice in concert, man. Oh, dude, I've seen this man like I didn't You've realize seen three, it. Three, I think. Well, if you count all the little th- times at well, Bonnaroo, true. I've seen this man like eight times. The king of Bonnaroo. Yeah, the the <laughs> motherfucking mayor, bro. Come back, yeah, please. Dude. Where, you're talking to Bonnaroovians. But yeah, dude, shout out Chance the Rapper. Everything that you've done, bro. It's pretty great. Yeah. Honestly. Uh, dude, shout out fucking Future for putting Monster on Apple Music. Right. Woo. And 56 <laughs> Nights. But yes. Monster. Monster, dude. That just brings back that, so I listened to that album for like three years. Like way back in the day. Just never even deleted it. Always played that shit as soon as I got in the car. <laughs> Throw away, great song. Spin, Never spin, throwing that away. Spinrilla. <laughs> yeah, on no, Spinrilla. Come on. I had the little app that you could download mixtapes onto your phone. And yeah, nah. Thank you. Thank you for putting that shit on a streaming platform. Another, uh, I can't believe I'm, I'm forgetting this, but another rapper, local rapper. I'm, I'm scrolling through the website, just kind of looking at uh, past articles and stuff. Mm-hmm, another mm-hmm. rapper local artist that i don't know why i let slip my mind but michael Ryder, brave oh bro shout out to michael Ryder. i shout out brave not not to mention one of my favorite local artists but he's one of my favorite rappers <laughs> one of my favorite people bro he's fucking yeah. hilarious I just he's always th- promoting positive energy yeah, good I just vibes wanted to throw him throw this in there make this a little we can make this a sound bite we can put this on whatever but for real like shout out brave shout out um, brave Corbin's in the house. What's up, Corbin? Hold on, I gotta get up. I haven't seen him since I moved. <laughs> I have that ottoman, but that's I like it. that jacket. He can sit right there. I'll sit right there. Yeah, you can yeah. sit right here. You're just gonna get in the way. Yeah. It's just gonna be knees. It don't matter. Yeah, it's all good. They, yeah, they yeah, know. It's, it's, great. it's yeah, natural. Yeah. It's natural. Uh, okay, Word. so switching. We're still, we're still gonna stay on the music kick, but... uh. Let me let me say my piece and I'll let you say yours about the Lil Peep album. Ah, which I, one? The new one. The Everybody's newest one. Something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I thought they did a great job with that. Yes. Very. The tasteful. fact that they brought all of his stuff from uh, oh, <laughs> SoundCloud. Dude. Yeah, but like, not like, even it was that one uh, EP that he dropped. The the I know with the Lil Peep on it. Um, why can't I think of what Cry it's called? Baby? Yes. Cry baby, yeah. I want to say, but yeah, they took a lot of those songs. I'm really Let's glad see. that honestly they did just add music that he had from SoundCloud on there. I thought they did such a good job because of the come come over when you're sober part two. It was it lacked a little bit. It was fine, but I don't feel like that was a little peep album. Uh uh-uh. uh, it felt like he recorded those and then somebody else finished it, yeah. which is probably exactly what happened if but I were to guess. This, this it felt more like the ones that we had never heard. It felt like. We it felt like a it felt like Lil Pete wanted them on there, and then plus it had yeah. let's see, dude, all had, his songs with Gabe, dude. Shout out Gabe. Plus it had <laughs> an acoustic version of Walk Away's The Door Slams that was on the Hellboy album. Fantastic, yeah. It had Witchblades. Yes, come on. Anything with Tracy, Lil yeah. Peep, and Big Head. Cobain and White T, like you, those four, like th- that defines. His they could have literally just put that. It does. It does. You know what I'm saying? And they literally could have just dropped those on Apple Music, and it would have been fine. Yeah. And but the rest of them, if you haven't listened to the whole project, it's pretty fire, man. I have uh, of the newer ones. Uh, also, half those I feel like were leaked at some point, or. They were like a SoundCloud single that I didn't even notice were playing, but like Belgium definitely heard that on. Yeah. Uh, moving on, I heard that before. Keep my cool, heard that I'm before. Keep my cool, cool. dude. <laughs> that sounds like some 2000. That is early stuff, peep, man. yeah, and I love did it. Did you see the video for it? Yeah. Did you see that all he doesn't have any face tats? He recorded yeah. that music video a long time That's ago. That's crazy that he he held on to that. Yeah. Or it didn't, yeah, and it never didn't, really dropped it. Yeah. Uh, but of my favorite like new ones that I had never even heard before. Uh, I gotta say, Rockstar with Gabe was pretty good. Let's see what there was one. 
that I was really sticking out to me. What was it? I really liked uh uh the moving on song. Yeah. Yeah. That was like so Lil Peep. Mm -hmm. That's very much Lil Peep. Like uh you can tell that he had that song completed. Or I feel like, you know, I might be wrong. I might have assumed. But yeah. I feel like he had that song completed uh before he passed. But dude, think about that. That man passed away like two and a two half years, years ago. ago. It's been actually two years this month. It was just about two, like yeah. almost exactly. Yeah. Shout out. That's when I broke my leg. Show him your tat, man. Oh, dude, yeah, I got a tattoo. If anybody that doesn't know, it's some mushrooms because <laughs> uh, all the fungus in the ground comes together to create a mushroom, just like all the people in your life come together to create you. What he said. That part. That's my uh. <laughs> When somebody seriously wants to know why I have that. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this and I'm going to tell you that. Yeah. Side note, my mom just was like, you're too p pansy to get one. And I was like, run it. I'll oh, get really? one. Am oh, I? really? I'll get one. <laughs> uh, okay. Give me two, two of your favorite Disney Channel original movies. Mm. Wow. Just two, two. Shit. Not, not I haven't favorite. even gotten a scroll on Disney Plus not, yet, man. Not your favorite, but just two. Yeah, like just you two. Think back, you're like, wow, I really like that, and I really like this. Man, was the Fox and the Hound Disney? It was. It was, it dude. Was. That movie still to this Fox day, gut wrenching. I will cry every time. Dude, right? <laughs> but what about? But what about the the Disney Channel originals, like the the. You know what I'm talking about? The ones oh, that were on, like, like fucking like, like Eddie's like Million Dollar Lemonade or yeah, well, Eddie's Million Dollar Cookoff. Like, Is that I mean, the movie with where he puts the chocolate on the chicken at the end? I don't see. I don't oh, know, dude. I've been trying to think was, about what that was movie young. was for the longest. I, uh, I, I have Disney Plus, but I haven't made my way to Eddie's Million Dollar. Do you cook know what I'm talking about? Yes. Max Keeble's big move, bro. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so Stop glad. It. Shut up. Stop. <laughs> I'm so glad Corbin came in here. Uh, Fresh ideas. Oh, dude. Always. Always. Um, yeah, I really forget how many things Disney has their hands in. You don't realize it. Uh -huh. You don't realize it. You realize it now with Disney Plus. Yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, you see all the shit that's on there. Coffee or soda? Coffee. How do you like your coffee? Uh, well, a little right, bit of sugar on, and some Be cream. Before you say this, give me your fucking extravagant ass Starbucks. Order. Honestly, I love a good <laughs> cold brew. Uh, I used to be super complicated and get three uh, pumps of caramel, four pumps of classic, and cream. But I have uh, dialed that down. How big was it? A Trenta. I always get a Trenta, man. A Thirty ounce yeah, coffee. I keep it all day. I keep it on me. You know, I keep the rest on me. <laughs> but yeah, dude. Uh. I still I still do that shit. Uh, I have actually been trying to experiment more and brewing my old cold my own cold, cold brew. brew. Yeah, that, I've never tried that. Try it, dude. It's actually really good. Uh, it's got, a lot cheaper. I mean, I assume y'all do, but y'all got Starbucks out there. Fuck yeah, but dude, we also got a ton of other Bunch places of that shops. we don't have here. Like, there's a new coffee shop connected to the St. Andrews Market. What's it called? Red Bicycle. It's not connected, hmm. but it's like that little strip mall. It's yeah, called Red yeah. Bicycle. I've uh, been there. Oh, dude, what have they put in that strip mall? I I tried Red to call bicycle. it back in the day. Hold on. There's got to be a T and B. There's got to be a Marco's Pizza. There's. <laughs> There's got to be a subway, <laughs> and there's got to be a subway. As of right now, dude, there's only there's like fuck Murfreesboro and all your fucking strip malls, dude. And that's the subways. Like, oh. Anyway, but right now there's a, there's a little coffee shop, which is a cool idea, and there's like an insurance place. Okay. It, it, the rest of it is still empty though. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully they'll put something actually useful there, and not another fucking gas station, dentist office. Uh, What's another thing that I always see? Dollar uh, General. Uh, dude, I, honestly, a Dollar General be would be a plus <laughs> in comparison to the bullshit that they put in the stupid ass strip malls around here, man. Why don't y'all build a real building for like? <laughs> it's, I don't know, man. It's ugly to me, man. It's so, ugly. Uh, but uh, dang, I was gonna say something. I forgot what I was about gonna say. Strip malls or quiznos Oh, or the coffee. Like coffee. they've got like Dutch yeah, Bros out there. Shops. They've got Pete's Coffee, Dutch Bros. Do you have Tim um, say what? Do you have Tim Hortons? N maybe. I don't know. I haven't Burger seen one. Burger King bought it out. Uh, a lot of people in like uh, Berkeley and stuff, they honestly hate on Starbucks. So fuck y'all. Yeah, but it's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They call oh. it a little Starbucks bitch. But uh, there's tons of like just 
you know privately owned coffee shops all over the place like it's like that's where you go that's where a lot of people just go get their Murphy's coffee Bro's is got, getting a few there's a place called just love that's really good yeah i mean dude just love's always I been here and a lot of people don't even realize that but just love's been around for like I didn't know that. a long time they were actually a memorial over there by where that uh it's Gold's Gym now, but it used to be a Bilo at one point. Oh my God. Man, yeah. Do y'all remember Bilo? Bilo. <laughs> uh, and it was oh. down there, oh, somewhere around there. It was so hard to find. That's why nobody ever went there. But they they used to have like uh, tons of arcade games in there. Julian actually performed there when he was the Mustache Cowboys. Uh, shout out. <laughs> Dude, uh, shout out oh yeah, culture, dude. Man. Fuck yeah. Why did I not say anything about them when dude, we were talking about go local ahead and artists? Tell them about you shout and out your relationship with you and Bad Culture. Bad, bad culture, culture all the way, man. Go look up their single, uh, Keep My Mouth Shut on It's been on uh Slightly Daily Vibes. Yes, and it's also I on, on one of my playlists. Hell yeah. Uh it's also on Spotify, all streaming platforms, Apple Music, uh that and Heartbreak Corner. Um yeah, dude, on I've known... all streaming, right? Yeah, all like, streaming like, platforms. Do they have a SoundCloud, YouTube? <sighs> dude, I want to say they do, but I might be wrong on that. But they're on, on Apple and Spotify. They're yeah. On, they're on the big stuff. Yeah, they're on the big stuff, and that's that's kind of what matters nowadays. But, um, yes, one more time, bad culture, no space, keep my mouth shut. Check that out, please. How many, how many people are in the band? Uh, it's four people right now, um, and if I'm not wrong... Right now, it's Julian, his little brother Skyler. Skyler's in it, right? Skyler's a great artist. He used to have his own band called Serenity and the Blush. They still have plenty of music on Spotify. Please I, go. I didn't know he was in their in their band. I knew who he was. He just kind of he just kind of got he just uh, jams with him. Yeah, he started jamming with him, and then eventually, I think he's considered to be in the band now. Okay, um, that's cool. Brother. Alex, of course, Julian and Alex uh, have always been kind of the. Uh, the glue. The glue. Um, They've always been Josh has culture. always been there. Uh, but And Josh is the drummer, right? Yes. And so, yeah, and Josh is there Alex. now. Alex plays bass. Julian, I want to say, is guitar and guitar. vocals. And then I want to say Skyler's now the lead uh, guitar. Lead guitar. But I might be wrong. Don't hate me, guys. They both play guitar. Yeah, they always make fun of me yeah. anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, I've known those guys. Literally, I've known Julian since the first grade. Uh, I met Josh shortly after he lived in my dad's apartment complex. My Julian lived in my mom's Sir, neighborhood. How, how Man, I saw Was Josh like jump tree? over a bush <laughs> on his aggressive roller skates with a broken arm, probably when I was eight. Wow. So probably like second grade, third grade. And he's older than us, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think he's two years older than us. Um, but yeah, so, and then... They actually, Josh moved into the same neighborhood my mom had lived in, which is where Julian lived, and I kind of introduced them. Really? And dude, yeah, I've known them for a long ass time. Uh, Alex was in our geometry class uh, in sophomore year, and that's that's how I met Alex. I'm pretty sure Julian knew him beforehand, but yeah. Uh, and then Skyler was doing his own thing for a little while, but he's a super dope artist. Just as far as visuals yeah, I, and I've, everything like that. I've peeped. I just I know who he is. And I yeah, know, I know he can sing. Yeah, he really can, dude. Yeah, uh, he's pretty good. Um, I don't. Th I might have met him, but I, we don't know each other. But I know he can sing, and I I know who he is through social I'm not media. Really sure what happened to Serenity, Serenity, and the Blush, but I know that now he's kind of with uh, Bad Culture. Um, also, shout out their middle brother, Gabe. Uh, yeah, yeah. one of the best producers around. Yeah, uh, for sure. I, I love all of his stuff. He's a great kid. Um, Prod Gabe. Prod Damn Gabe. I don't know what he is. One Damn Gabe now? I don't know. Yeah, but... He's been uh, changing his stuff a lot. Uh, but yeah. Bacardi I still, Benny. I still keep up with him. Shout out Parker Productions. Shout out Da Vinci. I'm going to have them both on here. Yeah. I have a lot of music with them myself. On IG, one Damn Gabe. Yeah. But yeah, there's a ton of actually, like, I don't know how it slipped my mind, honestly. I just haven't been here and thought about it in a while. But there's a ton of dope artists here, and people just don't give support around here. And that's one thing I don't like about this place is yeah, everybody thinks it's it's odd to try and do what you want to do. Like, it's, well, why? Not even, I, I agree. I agree with that. But also, people want to just do it, do what they want to do without... I don't, it's hard to explain, but 
like we were saying, we want to we want to network and combine our own networks. Yeah. People don't want to branch out. People yeah, that's just, also people true. People want to just post their videos and, and work like, by themselves. Like yeah, yeah. Just like it without now. helping out anybody else too. All right, like yeah. it. Yeah, I told that totally makes sense because they it's Retweet like it works me. the same way. For what? They're not supporting you. You're not gonna support them. Yeah. Like, if everybody would just shut it. up and like it. it, like people are shy, and I, I get it. I'm shy. Believe it or not, like I've been talking this whole time, and I want to. This do, man's pretty shy. I want to do a podcast, <laughs> but I'm I'm pretty shy, man. But I mean, just do it, like Shia LaBeouf. But <laughs> <laughs> just you, do it. You got any questions for me, man? Man, honestly, how you been? I've been fine, man. I've just been trying to get this yeah. set up. Yeah. Elite for the past two weeks, man. I've been trying to set this up like yeah. heavy and i've been fine just working trying to save my money so i can follow my dreams <laughs> yeah and that's all you can really do man is just put your money towards yeah. what you want to do like, and actually do it uh that's one thing i do I have to say it's just i don't think people realize that you can no matter how outlandish your dreams may seem or how crazy like if you want to stream or Dude. I drove across the country. Yeah, this man drove across the country. With a trailer, a dog, and a snake. In an infinity. In an infinity <laughs> sedan manual. But Okay, I don't want to hear it. But Do like, what you want to do. Like I was saying, though, if you want to do it, you'll figure out a way to do it. I I kind of... I will do a, a video on my setup eventually, but... This, right now, it's pretty basic. Yeah, it's that's a good way to describe it. It's basic. Yeah, it's what you but, need. But it's enough. And I did this. This stuff didn't come overnight to me. I did a lot of research, mm -hmm. and I've also invested money in this too. Like you're not gonna do this stuff for free. And this isn't your first go around. No, and I've also done podcasts before. And a couple vlogs. And and I've done vlogs. I've done the YouTube thing before, and. I've been on social media for years. We all have. Yeah. <laughs> but Yeah, long time. Like, if you want to do it, you'll figure it out. And you're going to have to spend some money. But, like, you'll find economical ways to do the things you want to do. Yeah. Like, if you want to go be a photographer, you'll find a way to go get a camera. Yeah. You'll figure it out. Yeah. Just know? like Connor here. Get Connor Connor now has... Yeah. A whole really? couple cameras. How many Con cameras you got? Three? I have three, but two of them are dope. Yeah, yeah, still though. We're, yeah. I'm going to have Connor in here. I don't want to get too, too much in here, <laughs> into that, but shout out to Connor. He's he's the, the glue to this. Without Connor, there is no podcast. And <laughs> for real and i yeah. mean i mean that 100 percent and but we're we're gonna he's gonna have his own episode we're gonna get him in here but you got anything else to say before we wrap this up man honestly dude i'm super proud of you for uh doing this by yourself like i know connor did motivate you and and like you just said yeah, there is no so podcast without connor but when i first opened up the podcast and saw it was just you sitting there by yourself i honestly felt really good for you man like Appreciate it. Like you said, you are a shy guy, mm -hmm. and even though the, a camera is not a person, it's like it can be as many people as yeah, you want it to yeah, be. Yeah, it's a lot of people. Yeah, it's a lot of people. <laughs> it's way more than one person. So yeah, dude, uh, pretty proud of you, man. This is pretty dope. I really like your website. I'm glad to see that you're putting what you spent your time and money in school yeah. into actual life and uh, putting that together and actually doing what you want to do and not letting people hold you back or deter you from doing that great, fuck them it was great to have you on here i'm gonna have you on here soon next time you come back in town man just know that you got a seat you got a spot right here in this seat right here uh this is a slightly I'll be daily, back. this is a slightly daily podcast episode two i got nathan ruttenberg if i forgot anybody uh i love you i'm sorry about it uh shout out everybody and have a great day man stay true to yourself